All right, so if you've been following along on my YouTube channel, you would have seen that I announced that I was going to do the New Hampshire section of the Appalachian Trail in eight days. And then I posted daily vlogs. I posted day one, day two, day three, day four, and then the videos just stopped. And so in this video, I wanna kind of address what happened. Did I finish my section hike? I wanna answer the questions that you guys have been leaving in the comment section and all that. I'm filming this on a little local hike. I think it's about peak foliage season. So I wanted to get out and see the scenery. So you last saw me on day four and that's when I was hiking up and over the Kinsmans. And when I got to the summit of the Kinsmans, it started to downpour. Everything got soaked, my clothes and everything. And so I had actually booked a stay at the Notch Hostel. I had one online and I booked a bunk and I was going to call a taxi and head back to the Notch just to sleep inside because my original plan that night was to camp at the Liberty Springs tent site and that's up on a ridge, <laughs> it's up on Franconia Ridge. So with the amount that it was raining and just the weather, the temperature, I was going to end the day early at Franconia Notch, head to the Notch Hostel and sleep in a bed. So I went, like I said, and I booked that. So I just, during the day, I just kept thinking about it and thinking about it and checking the forecast for the next couple days and I didn't think that the weather was going to get any better. In fact, I think it was going to get worse and the terrain up ahead was going to be above tree line and there was a pretty long stretch between road crossings and I didn't think I'd be able to get into town easily to dry my stuff. And so being wet and it being late in the season, it being fall, uh, it was going to get cold and just the combination of being wet and cold and not being able to get down to a road crossing easily. And then if I did get down to the road crossing and want to go into town, I'd have to hitchhike, um, which I'm not totally comfortable with. I didn't know of many shuttle services um, in that area in New Hampshire, so it just made me nervous. And I got what I needed out of the hike. I spent four days. I hiked like I don't know, I have to look it up. I can put it on the screen, 50, 60 miles maybe. And I really pushed myself and I really enjoyed it out there. And so when I was hiking down off of Kinsman, I called my husband and he came and picked me up and I went home and I was totally fine with that decision. I didn't feel the need to be in the White Mountains cold and wet for the next four days. I just didn't think that'd be enjoyable. I didn't think I'd get any views. Not that like I usually crave the views, but it would have been nice. Yeah, I don't know. I am happy with that decision and I thought about maybe doing the second half. So doing the next four days that I had planned this month in October, but I'm not 100% sure if I'll make that happen because there are some other things that I'd rather do, but I will definitely keep you updated. So I just went through the last couple videos that I posted on YouTube and I screenshot a couple questions and I will answer those. So I didn't mean for this to happen, but apparently in my day one vlog, I left it on a big cliffhanger when I mentioned that I thought my fuel was running out. But the actual problem was with my stove because I had brought the cheapest, most light stove that I had on Amazon. And I think it doesn't have what's called like a pressure regulator. So it didn't perform well in cold temperatures. So it kept shutting off. So it wasn't my fuel that was completely full. It was the regulator. And so I had to unscrew it and rescrew it like four different times before I finally got the water to boil. And I was able to have my warm lasagna. So the day ended pretty well. It wasn't anything bad. A lot of people think it was a rookie mistake for me to hike 20 miles on my first day of this backpacking trip. And yeah, it wasn't the smartest, but there was a reason why I did that. But first, I know you're wondering about these sunglasses, so let me tell you about those real quick. I got them in this month's Nomadic subscription box. When you sign up for Nomadic, you get fun new gear delivered every month. This month, I got these Nectar Polarized Sunglasses, a Chums Retainer, a one liter anti-bottle, and a yummy granola bar. You can get these monthly boxes for as low as $30 a month. Check the description of this video to learn more about Nomadic, and now back to why I hiked way too far on day one. Okay, I was complaining a lot the first day that I hiked so far and that I was in a lot of pain, 
But for me personally, the reason why I go backpacking is to push myself. I don't think I would get the enjoyment that I do if I only hiked half that mileage or hiked or only hiked half the day and spent more time at camp. I really like pushing myself, seeing how far I could go, how fast I can go. Um, I don't know, improving my mile per hour. I think it would be so amazing to get into speed records one day, to do FKTs, to do ultra marathons. So every time I go on a trip like this, I think of it as like a training trip and I just want to keep improving myself. So that's why I hiked 20 miles the first day. I just love the feeling. I feel so accomplished. And yeah, it sucks in the moment, but I'm really happy about it in the long run. So there's a lot of different reasons why people hike and backpack and that's just my reason. I just like pushing myself and I know a lot of people out there like to take in the scenery, to take it slow, to spend more time at camp and that's just not my personal style. So that's why I go fast and go far. <laughs> also on day two I stayed at the barn door hostel and I mentioned I had left my sleep pants there and an update on that, Diane from the Barn Door Hostel actually ended up dropping my sleep pants off at my gift shop, so I have them back. Thank you so much, Diane. I do want to address the way I pronounce Mount Musilaki. I know that that might not be the correct way to say it. I know a lot of people say it's pronounced Mount Musilak, but for me personally, that just feels weird saying because I've said Mount Musilaki for so long, so... I know the correct pronunciation, I just don't say it. A lot of people I know in my personal life say it Mount Musilaki, so I don't know, say it however you feel like it. So there's a lot of gear questions. Um, I saw this one question about my watch. I have the Koro's Apex Pro. The real reason why I wanted this watch is because the battery life, it will last like all four days of this section hike without having to charge it, and it was in full GPS mode every single day, so that's huge. Um, the past watches that I've had, Garmin's, Fitbit's, they'll die after like one day of being in full GPS mode, so that's why I got it. The price tag is a little insane. I paid $500 for this, so it's way overkill, but I absolutely love this watch. All right, and that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you understand why I ended that section hike early. I just didn't wanna be cold and wet and miserable if I didn't have to be. Um, I know there were northbound through hikers that I was hiking around and they did continue on north, so it definitely would have been possible, but just for my mental health and what I wanted to do with my time, I got off trail early and that's okay. Just, I hope everyone just chooses what makes them happy. And if you have any other comments, questions that you want me to address in a future radio, I can do that. I do have some fun hikes planned in October. Hopefully I can do them soon because the leaves and the foliage are absolutely beautiful, but it is my super busy season at work. Um, so I will hope to see you on the trail soon. Bye.